Hey, friends how are you I hope you are fine. Today we share the information about the Lord of the Rings the Rings of Power. You are watching YouTube channel information about actor. The story of the Second Age is a story driven by its villain his attempts to conquer Middle Earth would take the form of secret infiltration outright war with overwhelming strength of arms and the manipulation of an entire kingdom to its destruction today on nerd of the rings we cover the life of sauron in the second age while this topic was covered in one of my first videos here on the channel i realized that that video was incredibly condensed given the importance of this character and this time period so today we're doing an all new extended edition look at the dark lord at the Start of the Second Age Sauron has just experienced the massive defeat of his master in the War of Wrath he is told by Ian Wei the leader of the host of the West that he should go to Valinor and be judged for his actions if he truly wished to repent instead shower on flees hiding in the lands of Middle Earth 500 years later Sauron comes to the conclusion that the Valor have turned a blind eye. To Middle Earth he realizes that he can continue his master's work becoming the new Dark Lord Sauron begins to work in the east and the south among the people who had been influenced by Morgoth. Centuries earlier preying upon these old alliances he finds followers who fall under his shadow by 882 of the Second Age Gilgalad the High King of the Noldor senses a shadow rising in the east he sends a warning to Numenor, though the Great Darkness had been defeated centuries earlier and Valyrian a new power is rising, and they must prepare for an eventual war around 1000 of the Second. H. Sauron is alarmed at the growing power of the Numenorians knowing he must create a stronghold of his own he chooses the lands of Mordor, and begins the construction of Parader near Mount Doom. Always a master at manipulation Sauron must decide who next to pursue the elves of Ariador or the men of Numenertas despite knowing that men were easier to sway he decides on the elves due to their innate power he lies hidden for 200 years all the while increasing his power finally in 1200 of the second age he puts on a fair visage with which to trick the elves he calls himself Anadar the Lord. Of gifts traveling to Ariador he claims to be an emissary from the Valor themselves he wishes to infiltrate Linden as it is the greatest and mightiest of the elven realms and home of the High King. However Gilgalad and Elrond do not trust this mysterious entity, while they cannot perceive his true identity they do not trust him and refuse him entry into their realm instead Anadar comes to. Another elven realm in Ariador a region there he is gladly received by the Lord Kellerbrim Bor we are told that among the people of Ariagen Galadriel alone held distrust for Anadar however Keller. Brim Bor is swayed by this lord of gifts the elven lord leads the Guitamirdime the brotherhood of jewel smiths and from Anadar they learn much in both art and magic Sauron who is once a servant of. All the smith of the valor leads the gay Femerondini to become the greatest smiths of the age it is said that Celebrimbor became more skilled than any smith to ever live save for his grandfather. Finer by 1500 of the second age after studying under Anadar for nearly 300 years the Giffy Myrdine have reached the pinnacle of their skill and began forging the rings of power for Anadar had promised them that these rings would help preserve their realms and powers over Middle Earth after 90 years the first 16 rings of power are completed at this time Anadar takes his leave from the region. Traveling back to Mordor there in 1600 of the second age he creates the one ring a master ring into which he pours most of his own power so that he may control the bearers of the other rings the ring is inscribed with the iconic phrase. In one of his first acts using the ring he completes the construction of Parader binding the very foundations of the Dark Tower to the One Ring, however the elves would perceive his deception as the Dark Lord places the ring upon his finger Celebrimbor, and the other elves are immediately aware of him realizing they had been betrayed Celebrimbor locks the 16 within a vault in a region and sends the three rings which he had made himself after Sauron's departure to Gilgalad in Linden and Galadriel and Lorien above all others Sauron covets the three rings he demands that the elves give. To him all the rings of power the elves refuse and the war of the elves and Sauron is now inevitable next Sauron built Black Gate of Mortar to prevent invasion into his lands and begins amassing an 
army of orcs trolls and men who had come to worship him as a god king we are told that despite finding many followers among the easterlings and south Rans, there are still those who oppose him due to their resistance and possibly thanks to the work of the blue wizards it takes sauron much longer than expected to raise his army finally 95 years after the creation of the one ring sauron launches his war upon Ariador as a region comes under attack Gil-galad sends an army commanded by Elrond to aid the elves, while also calling for aid from Numenor after two years of bloody conflict the capital. Of Austin Ethel is sacked Celebrine Boar is captured and the realm of a region is laid waste Sauron has roamed, and his forces cornered and facing their own destruction when the dwarves of Khazad Doom. Attacked Sauron's rear flank diverting his attention Elrond leads the survivors including Galadriel's husband Celeborn North, where he would found the refuge of Revendal the dwarves retreat and shut. The gates of Moria which would not open from the outside again until the time of the fellowship Sauron tortures Celebrimbor, and while he would claim the 16 rings, or 15 depending on the version of the story from the vaults of a region Celebrimbor would not divulge the location of the three elven rings the elf lord is killed and his body placed on a spike and used as a war banner as Sauron. Continues his brutal war by 1699 Sauron has conquered nearly all of Eriador and the elves in Linden and Revendal are facing and powerful armies seeking their destruction at this moment Sauron's. Control over Middle-earth is as vast as it will ever be at no time before or after would he rule over such a large area as the situation is at its most dire the Numenoreans answer Linton's call they reinforce the elves and drive Sauron back from the front lines along the river Loon Sauron retreats to Sauron Ford where he is defeated again he retreats further to Tharbad where he is reinforced from the southeast however Sauron was not aware of a second fleet sent by Numenor's king to the mouth of the Gwiklo this force attacks from the southwest while Gilgalad and the other Numenoreans attack. From the north Sauron's army is decimated and the Dark Lord barely escapes himself by the time Sauron returns to Mordor he is left with just a small personal guard Gilgalad defeats the cutoff forces. Laying siege to him Ludris and Sauron's defeat in Ariador is complete, while Sauron's might would never again equal what it was during his conquest of Ariador his enemies have been decimated as well. So he faces no immediate threat he holds a deep hatred for the Numenoreans those who had snatched away his ultimate victory eventually he would turn his attention to the island realm using other means and strength of arms still possessing the 16 rings of power all of which were originally intended for the elves Sauron decides instead to target the other races of Middle Earth's seven rings. Come to the dwarven lords who had proved too hardy to be enslaved by the one the nine however are given to men three corrupted lords of Numenor an Easterling king named Kamal and five other men whose Identities are mystery, while initially becoming great rulers, warriors and sorcerers the nine would fade and in 2251 they first appear as the ring rates the greatest of Sauron's slaves over 1500. Years after his defeat in Ariador Sauron is confident that he will again rise to great power and dominate all of Middle Earth Sauron declares himself king of men lord of the earth and many similarly. Boastful titles by this time Numenor has fallen under a shadow its leaders becoming oppressive and cruel and most of the people turning their backs upon the Valar and the Eldar Sauron's titles. Offend one of the most evil of all Numenor's kings are Farazan in 3262 Arkansas Farazan lands.